Hello, and welcome to a Grim Oak Press unboxing. This, my friends, is The Desert Spear by Peter V. Brent. His follow-up to, uh, depending on what side of the pond you're on, either the warded man or the painted man, or if you're over in the UK. As I am not, I'm going to call it the warded man, because that's how I know it. That's how it's called on the Grim Oak Press edition. Uh, if you want to check out a nice unboxing of that Grim Oak Press edition, it's on my channel. But anyways, here is the second title of the Demon Cycle series, The Desert Spear by Peter V. Brent, with, of course, the optional slipcase, because you always got to get the optional slipcase from Grim Oak. They are gorgeous. They are nice, high quality. And if you don't order them early enough, you might miss out. So you don't want to miss out. Uh, so this is illustrated by Alan Williams, uh, who had illustrated The Warded Man as well. Um, so very excited to see what he does with this one. Look at those. Those are awesome. I love Alan Williams as an illustrator. The man kicks ass. Um, if you're not familiar with The Warded Man or The Painted Man, depending on what side of the pond you're on, uh, it is a world which is terrorized by demons. There used to be those who would fight said demons. Um, but, unfortunately, those people have long since passed. Uh, hey, this is an illustration I, I, I kind of wanted to bring up um, right here on the signature page. Uh, so we have one of said wards, which is used to fight off the demons. This is Simon Peter V. Brett and Alan, and Alan Williams. This is number 86 of 500 to match my copy of The Warded Man. Um, but fun thing about Alan Williams is he uh, he likes that hand, that hand right there. Uh, so this, you know, The Warded Man painted the desert spear. There is his illustration. To exhibit B, we have I Am Legend. Uh, which he illustrated for Suntup years back. And uh, funny enough, it's actually the same illustration or similar hand style on... Uh, I mean, it's not the exact same. But look at that. Dude likes his hands. How about that? It's just... I thought it was pretty funny. I was like, I recognize that. Uh, you might recognize it from the slipcase for the artist edition of I Am Legend. It was on that as well. Like I said, he's he's not ripping himself off. He's just, you know embellishing a previous uh, illustration. Uh, this does have, I believe, six interior illustrations by Peter V. Brett. Not Peter V. Brett, by Alan Williams. <laughs> Wouldn't do any good for Peter V. Brett to be illustrating his own books. I mean, he could, by all means. Uh, the interior illustrations are in black and white, but that is A-OK. -okay. Uh, this is a world of demons, which is what Alan Williams, do Alan Williams does exceptionally well. The man is a dark, dark artist. Uh, so he is going to rock demons. Look at that. That is incredible. Um, the Warded Man from uh, Sun, not Sun Top, Grim Oak. Oh my god. I, I just did a Sun Top unboxing for a Hell House. So I got Sun Top on the brain. Uh, but the Warded Man is fully sold out through Grim Oak Press. You'd have to go down to the secondary market in order to find a copy for yourself. Uh, unfortunately, they don't run cheap. Um, but copies of the Desert Spear are still available. So you can buy this direct from Grimmel Press. There is a link in the description below if you wanted to buy a copy for yourself. I would highly encourage it, uh, because eventually this is going to sell out. And once it does sell out, you are going to have to pay, pay a pretty penny down the road. And nobody wants to do that. I also like the little, uh, little vignette kind of uh, chapter headers that are here. Those are very nice. I don't think those are Alan Williams, though. Maybe they are. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, it's... I, I have not read The Desert Spear. I, I did read The Warded Man. And I loved it. It was really good. I actually read it as The Painted Man. Uh, Avatar Illustrations, that's what you're going to call it, by Lauren K. Cannon. She's Lauren is the one that did those. Um, bum, bum. I believe this was printed originally in the U.K., uh, before getting the U.S. publication. At least it was The Painted Man. I read... I had a U.K. edition, so I read it as The Painted Man. Uh, but never read the sequels. Until now. Now I've got a very fancy edition to read. Uh, but yeah, Grim Oak Press has been knocking out of the park. You know, like, Suntup is doing one book, is very faithfully doing one book a year. 
not year, one book a month. Oh my God, it's been a long day, I guess. Suntup has been faithfully doing one book a month and, you know, has been making people's wallets hurt for the past four years. I think it was 2020 when they first started doing one a month. It was like the second half of 2019 when they started that. Uh, so this past year, Grim Oak said, you know what? We can beat that. And they've been doing like one book every like two to three weeks. Like, Jesus, Sean. Like, slow down, man. Um, you know, Grim Oak was a, was a publisher where I was like, oh, I could totally buy every book they have because they do, like, one book every, like, you know, four or five months. That's not bad. That's, that's doable. But prices have been going up, and the publishing has been speeding up. That is, And they have a Ward Grimoire in the back here talking about some of the demons. Very, very cool. Nice little glossary for you. Uh, so upcoming titles from Grim Oak. Uh, I believe the next one is Servant of the Empire uh, by Raymond E. Feist and um, Jenny Wirtz, which I have read that one. That one's really good. Um, I am going to be buying a copy of that one. Probably not right away, just because my wallet hurts and, you know, I need a little bit of a break. I need a little bit of a breather. I did, after all, just buy a numbered Suntup title. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got back on the, the number train with uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Because mostly, oh, but one, because I think To Kill a Mockingbird is a fantastic novel. It was actually one that I had requested in said survey, in which it was the most highly requested novel. So I am not, you know, unique in that regard. But I bought a copy. Um, I actually bought an artist copy, not thinking I was going to get a numbered copy. Ended up getting a numbered copy, so now I'm going to have one of each. I'll do a nice comparison video for those. Um, but anyways, I, I got on the number train again, specifically for this quarter, because next month you got Swan Song by Robert McCammon, then you got American Gods by Neil Gaiman, and we might be getting The Hellbound Heart by Clyde Barker in the next quarter. Who knows? But anyways, this is not about Suntup. This is about Grim Oak. Uh, Servant of the Empire by Feist and Worst coming out next. Uh, they're... I believe his campaign, Sean Speakman's campaign just ended for the Dark Thorn. Uh, following up is the third Dresden Files novel. Following up is the second Guy Gavriel K novel. Uh, those two are both dependent on whether or not they can get the preceding novel out the door. Uh, I believe the Summer Tree is right around the corner. It's not what's next, shipping next. What's shipping next is, uh, William, is, uh, Ted Williams, his title. Um, but I believe after that is Guy Gavriel K. After that is going to be uh, Full Moon. Uh, and then, you know, this Moon Called is coming down the line. Patricia Briggs. Um, eventually, down the road, they're going to do the other uh, Clooney novel. Uh, that one's still available. I don't know if they're going to continue with uh, the Mercy Tom. Mercy Thomas? Mercy Thompson? I've never read them. The, the Vampire Diaries or True Blood or whatever those ones are. I, I've never really gotten into those ones. The first novel is, which is Dead by Daylight? Dead, that one's still widely available. They haven't sold nearly as many as they thought they would for that. So, uh, fingers crossed they'll continue the series, because I know there are fans out there who might buy it, but we'll see. Uh, got a ton of titles coming down the pipeline for Grimmel Press. Uh, I will continue to unbox any that I do buy. Like I said, Serpent of the Empire, I'm definitely going to pick up. I will pick up uh, the other ones when I can. Um, the newest, I say newest, but it's not really new per se, of um, Mark Lawrence, uh, which is the standalone title of uh, Red Queen. Uh, is currently available. I did not buy that one just because I already have the trilogy. So, you know, I I might buy the standalones and upgrade to them down the road if I can get them for a cheaper sale price, but it's not worth me paying full price for those when there are other books to own that I don't already have. But anyways, subscribe to the channel when I do unboxing videos, which there are plenty of unboxing videos, but when I do those videos, you can check them out firsthand. I also do a book review a week on Tuesday, so plenty of content for you guys. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Check out Grim Oak. Check out Al Williams' artwork. He's incredible. Check out the world of the Demon Cycle and Peter V. Brett, and we'll see you around next time.